What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews and today we're gonna be going over a massive folding chair from Costco. So let's check it out. So my wife sent me a picture of this folding chair from Costco and I thought it was absolutely absurd. It was one of those pictures where you think, oh, this is just one of those gimmick products that doesn't actually exist. But then I searched the Costco website and sure enough, there it is. It's called the Timber Ridge Giant Camp Chair and it comes in for $140 if you have a Costco membership. Now typically Costco does a lot of research on the products that they sell before they put them in store and on the website. So I figured it might be worth taking a look at as a bigger person. Since I myself stand six foot 10 inches tall and I'm 350 pounds, this chair holds up to 600 pounds and so it should be able to hold me pretty comfortably. Overall, the chair itself weighs 13 pounds and when it's unfolded, it's 62 inches deep in the seat, 67.5 inches tall and 41 inches wide. And while it looks big on camera, until you actually see this thing in person, you don't really comprehend just how massive this chair is. I couldn't find exactly the material that this chair is made out of, but other Timber Ridge chairs have a powder coated steel frame and what they label as 600 shadow embossed and 840 velocity Dobby Poly, which is a durable polyester fabric. It also has six cup holders, three in each arm, and comes with its own carrying bag. Now for my thoughts on the chair, this thing is actually very tough to get into. Even with someone with my height of 6'10", I still have to kind of like get on my toes and sit back into it, and then kind of slide my body into it. And like I said, this thing is absolutely gigantic in person, and it's really a conversation starter. Every person I've showed this chair to, they just had to talk about it, and that was a really cool part about it, but that's about where the cool stuff stops. The material of this chair is that of a standard folding camp chair. I was hoping when I saw that it had a higher weight capacity of 600 pounds, that the material and build quality would also match up to that weight capacity. But sadly, it's just a blown up version of a normal camp chair. There's a few things that I hate about standard camp chairs. And if you take a look at one of my past videos on the King Kong Alps folding chair, which is one of my all time favorite products that I brought to this channel, there's things that that chair has that make sense that made it better than your standard folding chair. This chair has none of that. The problems I find with chairs that are made like this are that high weight tends to tear up the fabric on the top of the back poles because it's pulling down on two very small points and over time it wears out pretty quickly. And one of my biggest pet peeves is that it has sliding armrests. It just has these little rubber rings that are supposed to hold the arms up, but anytime you put weight on those, they just slide right down the backrest. The frame flexes quite a bit when you're using this chair and I could tell that it will easily wear out because the materials are pretty cheap. And one of the worst things about these folding camp chairs is that banana back curve you get because there's zero back support. Even the King Kong chair had some curve to it, but this chair is really, really bad. And there is zero back support in this chair and you're sitting like a banana the entire time. They picture a family sitting in it, and while that's possible, there is no seat support, so you'd actually be crammed against one another, kind of sitting in a bowl. And while the weight capacity is high above my own weight at 600 pounds, I still felt a ton of instability when climbing in and out of this thing. So I think it's pretty clear, but does it get the Freaky Doll stamp of approval? Absolutely not. This chair is an expensive novelty at best, and the only reason you should buy it is if you have $140 to blow and you want that wow factor that people are gonna think is really cool, because it is impressive when you see it in person. But unless you want it for specifically that, don't buy it. I think it's a fun item and it's really cool to see, but for actual use, I would never actually bring this chair and use it and I will be returning it to Costco. If Timber Ridge were to invest in better product materials and a better build quality, I would consider it, but by the time they put that engineering into it, it wouldn't be affordable to even use. So in its current state, it's definitely not worth it. I think it's a cool item, but it is gimmicky, it is a novelty, and I don't recommend buying it. But that's it, everybody. A quick video on a product that when I came across, I was thinking, oh, maybe this would be cool for a big and tall person and it's not. If you don't know already, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and I cannot do it without your help. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification icon so you see when I come out with new videos and also share it with all your friends and family so they can see it as well. Also, be sure to follow me outside of the channel because I have a Facebook page with a shop function where you can shop through previous products that have the Freaky Tall stamp of approval. And I also have an Instagram and a Twitter where I release behind the scenes content of what's going on at Freaky Tall Studios. Lastly, I do have a Patreon. So if you wanna support the channel financially, it's only five bucks a month and I use all of those funds exclusively for new products to review. But that's it, everybody. I really appreciate your time and you being here. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tower Reviews. We'll see you next time.